Yes. Hello, Stretch. Good 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 morning. Good evening. I don't know the local time. <laughs> yeah, good afternoon. Yeah. So how 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 did it go? How did you how did you like it? How did you enjoy it? I enjoyed it. Pretty good. Uh, I uh, was kind of surprised to see the uh, the team some of the teams outside. <laughs> I wasn't prepared for that. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it was tight. It was nice. I enjoyed it. Um, one. Uh, I, I will keep it short. I will just like I would like to ask you a few questions. The first of all, why do you think that for a dancer does not matter the style or where they come from? Why why do you think or why would you advise them to learn the knowledge, the history, the 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 basics, everything about the dance? Because there are so many choreographers or dancers out there who who not even that they do not mind about the knowledge or the history, that they do not really actually care about it. Well, I mean, from the perspective of, from the perspective of a person, I mean, wouldn't you want to better yourself as a person? To better yourself as a person, you, you uh, acquire as much knowledge and experience as possible. So as a dancer, you know, the more knowledge and experience you have, the better you understand the dance and the music itself. Um, you know, do you absolutely have to have uh, the entire history of a, of a dance? No, but it gives you a, a better understanding of the dance if you, you know, study it. If you actually care about it, I always use the analogy of martial arts. When you study a martial art, you don't just learn how to fight. You know, you learn the history of the art. That's why it's called an art. <laughs> so dance is, you know, in the exact same vein. It's art. And, uh, you know, if you want to better your art, you need, uh, you know, as much knowledge about said art as possible. And that's what makes it important. <laughs> a, 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 a better question, I think. Uh, answer you just uh, you, you just could, could, couldn't have find for sure. Um, another question regarding regarding this online situation, this uh, this really strange uh, situation. What would we, what would you advise choreographers, uh, teachers, dancers, parents, whatever? Uh, how 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 they, how should they deal with this period? Uh, from my perspective, uh, you know, this is a time of self-reflection. I mean, again, if you're really into your art, now is the time to focus on it, to focus on bettering yourself, um, to better yourself as a dancer, to better yourself as a choreographer, to better yourself as a person. Um, this is it. Uh, we have, we're in a time of, you know, intense separation. Um, so if you're constantly trying to elevate yourself, just imagine what happens when we actually can get back together and occupy the same space. You'll be in another place mentally, physically, and spiritually, and you'll be better for it, at least in my opinion. Right, right, that's, that, I totally, totally agree. And I also, I also saw that um, uh, you had uh, a lot of uh, activity during this period, all mainly online, of course, um, teaching in so many in so many con countries, uh, countries, uh, different dance schools, uh, and stuff like that. How did you adapt to um, to these uh, to these projects? And if if we are going back to normal, would you still keep some of them? Um. For me, teaching online is a new skill set. You know, I had to adapt the way that I teach and what I'm teaching from five dimensions to two. Uh, so it's a learning process and experience for me, and I welcome it. You know, I've learned a lot in these last few months teaching, and I plan to, uh, you know, keep learning from this experience and applying it you know, as I go, um, I think I'm going to come out of this as a much better teacher and a much better dancer. Uh, so, I mean, I think 
this is why I'm preaching that it's all self-reflection. You know, you have to look at yourself and understand that while it's it, it looks like it's easy, you know, learning is not easy. Growing is not easy. You got to get out of your comfort zone. And I'm definitely not comfortable on a screen in two dimensions, but I have adapted yeah. and hope will continue to adapt. Yeah, totally, totally. Okay, Sretch, thank you. Thank you so much for your involvement, for uh, everything that you that you have done uh, uh, throughout uh, these years, um, starting from workshops, from tours, from competitions, from judging, even even the fact that uh, thanks, uh, thanks to you, we have UDO in Romania. I told everyone in different uh, lives, in different interviews also, uh, you were the one advising me to, 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 to bring it to Romania. Yeah, the times are a little bit strange, a little bit odd, but as you said, we are trying to adapt and just keep on going, learning and growing. This was, this was amazing. Thank you so much for everything. And um, I just would like to make a short spoiler that uh, soon we are also going to have a uh, uh, need to have a workshop with you online because we had all kinds of workshops with you in Romania. Why not try even one in online? <laughs> Let's see how that works. Okay, uh, once again, thank you so much, Stress, for everything, Stretch, for everything. Uh, wish you all the best. Uh, say hi to your family, to Yuko, and uh, everybody, everybody out there. I wish you all the health and uh, peace. Thank you. Thank you so much.